It's like, to me, it tasted so good. Now it just had to see how people would react. And yeah, same thing, criticism. Like, I, uh, the first thing when we were, I, I, was, I was handing out samples, even like at my church, I would tell them, here, let me know what you guys think. Really, it just, if it tastes bad, tell me why. And I actually had a couple people have told me they didn't like it, but not because it was a bad coffee, it's because they're not into flavored coffees. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. Like, you know, but yeah, no, so far our coconut one, a lot of people get yep. thrown off by coconut. I like it. <laughs> and, you know, like, how did you like coconut coffee? Like, why, how? Or like, you know, and I was like, well, why not? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, um, mm -hmm. so yeah, that, that was uh, like, you know, just getting the confidence, get behind the product community and just be like, this is us, this is what we do. Mm -hmm. It was kind of scary because, you know, you do have your coffee and enthusiasts yes. mm -hmm. who are very, can be very, not judgmental, but because they're so knowledgeable. Uh, I was afraid to show them our yeah, stuff. It's like, probably gets like professionals, like, what's your yeah. professional opinion? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. So, but no, a lot of people, there was, uh, there was this, uh, recently, there was this kid who I had a, uh, like 15, 20 conversation with him and it was... He was trying them, he was, you know, smelling them, he was tasting with the ice melting, like, he went through this whole thing. And it was so cool that he was catching all this, all that he saw, like, you know, different flavors as the ice was breaking down and melting. And, yeah, that's what I wanted to, to actually meet someone who was like that. Mm -hmm. And he, he said, yeah, out of the three that you guys have, I like spice blend the most, the least coconut, but not because it tastes bad, but because I'm not a fruit kind of guy. Mm -hmm. I was like, awesome. So, no, that now, after that, I felt more comfortable. And then, once we started actually selling drinks at, the, at these event affairs, we started getting, seeing all the positive reactions on Instagram, on Facebook, telling us, oh yeah, I love your coffee, it's like no other. So, I was like, okay, we're not messing up, we're doing something good. Yeah, so, exactly. One of the biggest, like, me praises is when like a coffee drinker only drinks with cream or sugar and then they drink ours like wow I don't I, this is like the only coffee I've ever had that I don't need cream or sugar right. so it's just a straight coffee with just like the pure the right natural ingredients in there they all love it yeah it just gets in the way you yeah. want to have that you want to experience the whole yeah. yeah what is unique about your business um I would say the way we flavor our coffee like I said, we use uh, natural ingredients, spices. So uh, some that I think people have thought of, but I just I just see why they wouldn't venture out because of the amount of work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like the amount of work that we put into this is a lot. But I mean, the end the end result is when you get like an awesome flavor coffee. And um, even like like just to put cinnamon in there, like. Cinnamon's known for lowering blood sugar, like, like people with diabetes. It's like something simple, just like that. It actually, it's actually a good benefit for our coffee. Versus like putting this oil in there, it takes a good, like I said, it does take a lot of work to actually come up with the flavors and like consistently make them the same. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's the yeah, thing I was talking about. How do you make them consistent? Right, you just we uh, we don't go above like a certain one. Like we'll try and just do like a pound at a time or something like that. So that way we just stick to that way. Like when that one's finished roasting, we add a certain amount of ingredients, mix it all up and do all our stuff, and then just do the next one. So don't try and like go too high as far as like roasting all at once, because then it might start to be So we actually get the call small. The roasting profiles and decide the right ingredients the right amount of them. Okay, so what advice would you give to someone who is trying to become an entrepreneur? Um, I was like, for me, do something you really, really like because right now it's like when you first start out, like you're not going to paint yourself as much, if anything. Right. So it's all based on like your passion and what like you actually want to do in the fun. Right. And then after that, then when you start getting better, then the money would come in. But like, Find something you really like and passionate about and then get a mentor as soon as possible.